Welcome to the Django Project, DJ Blogger. This tutorial is part of a YouTube Django Project playlist, which you can access in the video description. You can watch the whole course from the very beginning. If you enjoy this course and would like all the updated tutorials and associated code samples and more, you can check out this course and other courses this project features at Udemy. The link to the course is in the video description. So now we can start to really see how a Django project works with HTML templates. So let's start off by building the view. The view is really the central point, in my opinion, which sticks everything together, responds to the user's request and returns the template to the user. So back in our application, we're going to be working within our DJ Blogger blog app and then the views. So the view here is going to have all the business logic, if you like, all the uh, logic which is going to power our homepage in regards to managing the request from the user and then sticking everything together, gathering up the templates and the data and then rendering that and returning that template then to the user. So we have decided in this course to utilize class-based views, and that can be a little bit controversial. There are two approaches. We can use class-based views or traditional functions in our view here. So using a class-based view, essentially what's happening here is that Django already has these pre-existing templates, if you like, for our views. And we're gonna grab that template and we're simply going to override and add some different properties. And that's then going to allow us to build our view. Now the benefit of that is that Django already has these uh, templates available so it takes us less time to build our view. And then the downside to this is that because Django has already written much of the code everything is a little bit abstracted so for the beginner we can't quite see what's going on. But I think it's fairly simple or at least we're going to find out so let's give this a go. Right, so the Django documentation details two following generic class-based views, which are designed to display data. So the first thing we need to do on our page, this is the home page, is to work out what exactly is going to happen on this page. So if you think about our home page, our home page is going to display some data. Now our home page is going to display, for example, all of the blog posts that are currently stored in our database. And we're going to paginate that. We're going to make it so it lazy loads. As the user kind of um, moves down the page, we're going to load more data. So data is always going to be added as long as the user is scrolling down. So here what we want to do is display data. So Django provides these two generic class-based views, detail view and list view. So if we wanted to, for example, show one item, for example, on a single page, detail view seems like the way forward. Now, if we want to list a lot of data, then we're going to use the list view. So you will find um, other information about generic class-based views. There are others and no doubt, in fact, I don't think we will use any other than list view um, in this first section of this course or first phase of this course. So uh, we'll just familiarize ourselves with list view. So behind the scenes then Django has created this list view class and we can now access it and utilize all of its tools. And you can see here that um, this class will be connected to other classes, which brings in other resources. And our job is to simply utilize it and then override and add our own um, parameters, add our own uh, values that we need in order to get our view working correctly. So this can speed up development using class-based views, but at the same time, like I said, it's a little bit abstract and it does take a little bit more research in terms of what's going on and how to make certain changes. But let's just get going and hopefully you'll see how easy this is. So I'm going to make a new class called Home View for the home page. And now I need to bring in one of our class-based views, our generic class-based views. So I will need to bring that in, that resource in Django.views generic. Let's go ahead and import list view. There we go. Okay, um, so with that in, let's now go ahead and do something. So we can specify the model we want to use. So here we're going to use the post model, model referring to 
Django model, the table that we want to use, which is the post table. So we're going to say from dot models. So dot referring to this directory dot. So from dot this directory, there's modules. And inside of there, we're going to import post. Now we can utilize it within our class here. OK, so with that in place, uh, we now need to think about a template. So let's uh, tell Django what template we're going to use. Template name equals. So we're going to make a folder structure here in our template folder in a minute where there is a template. And inside of that, we will find the blog folder. And then inside of that, we'll find an index.html page. So that's my template. And there we go. We have our first view. We simply supply the table that we want to use and then supply the template. So let's just see this in action now. We obviously we're going to need to build a template. So let's now build our template. So let's work out where we're going to put this in our project. So let's go into uh, we're going to put it inside of our inner DJ blogger here. Actually, it should go inside of our DJ blogger, DJ blogger, shouldn't it? This is our project. So let's put this inside. Mm. OK, no, change my mind. Let's put it here for now. It's going to be easier templates. So I'm going to make a new folder here called templates, and that's in the outer DJ blogger section here. OK, so that's the first step. And then, like I mentioned, in templates, we're going to create a new folder called blog to represent templates that are part of the blog app. And then inside of here, we're going to create a new file called index.html. Index is normally the first page that gets viewed by a web server, one of them at least. So typically web servers, when they serve a page uh, to you and you haven't specified a, a destination as such um, or a a file, it will look for certain files to begin with, and one of them will be index.html. So that's why we name it index.html. Right, so we don't necessarily need any HTML markup here. We just say hello world and we get that viewable on the page. Okay, so at this point, although we have everything in place in terms of programmatically, we need to tell Django about this new folder we created. So Django by default will look for a folder in our app called templates. If we can't find the templates there, that's pretty much it. So we need to tell Django to look for this template folder here. So to do that, let's go ahead and go into our settings. So close that. We need to go into DJ Blogger and then settings. And then let's go into the base. Now, this might be a setting that we apply in the local because we might, in actual fact, change where the templates are in production. But we're going to put it in the base for now. And then we'll make those changes at a later date. So if we scroll down here, we have a template section. So what we can do here is we can specify the directory for our template. So let's say os.path.join. So this is a tool that allows us to join different paths, for example. So we're going to get the base directory. So we're going to find the base directory and then after that, we're going to connect it to the templates. So essentially, all we've done there utilizing OS path join is that we have, we're going to need a, that there. So all we've simply done, simply done there is grab the base directory of our project and then slash templates. And then that is where our templates folder is. So we've told Django where our templates folder is. So OS. Um, is a resource that we need to bring in if you haven't already done so. And this is our base directory. So Django already knows what our base directory is. So now what we have then is hopefully everything connected. So we should now be able to view our template. So let's give this a go. Let's clear that. So dot blah, blah, and run server. So our server's running, so our code looks to be good. Let's take a look. Let's go into our local host. Oh no, not local host. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's um, happening so far. And that's because there is one more step left, remember. So how does Django know how to connect this to our view? So how does it know that this page here that we're requesting, so in our browser, we are requesting this resource from Django. How does it know that um, this is then matched or this request from this page should then start our view. And that's what we need to do last. 
So the last step is to connect that up. And that's where the URLs come in. So the URLs is going to allow us to specify a resource and then connect it to a view. 